My name is Marina Bazinovich, and I am a second year master's student in geographic information science at San Francisco State University. I hold a Bachelor of Science degree in aquatic biology and a minor in spatial studies from UC Santa Barbara. I've become interested in the use of visualization tools and techniques to explore the spatio-temporal extent of human impacts in the ocean environment. My research centers on ocean soundscapes. Just as a landscape consists of all visual features in an area, a soundscape is the total collection of sounds in an environment. As human activities such as shipping, offshore wind farms, and mining increase, the noise from these activities may overlap and interfere with marine ecosystems. Beach whales and sperm whales appear sensitive to human noise, especially noise produced by Navy sonar and shipping vessels. These whales are deep divers that are visually cryptic on the surface, making them challenging to study. Though little is known about their abundance and distribution, we know they are acoustically active as they produce clicks for communication and foraging. In my research, I'm using select soundscape metrics to investigate the relationship between noise pollution and beaked and sperm whale presence. Our data collection involves the use of drifting buoys. This is a type of passive acoustic monitoring, a way to collect information about vocalizing animals and the ambient environment when visual surveys are insufficient. These are non-invasive tools equipped with acoustic recorders and GPS tracking that can survey a large spatial area. Furthermore, because they drift freely, there's no influence from sounds produced by a survey vessel. During a 2018 survey of the California current ecosystem with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Southwest Fishery Science Center, 22 drifting buoys were deployed and recovered to listen to the soundscape in offshore locations. These buoys collected beaked and sperm whale echolocation pulses, GPS locations, and ambient sound levels. By extracting sound bands and habitat characteristics along the drifting buoy's path, I can compare the acoustic and environmental conditions when whales were vocalizing or not. In my preliminary analysis, I compare the distribution of sound bands often associated with the presence of Navy sonar and shipping vessels from two buoys when beaked whales were heard versus not heard. Ultimately, I will use a model to identify strong predictors of beaked and sperm whale presence in noisy and quiet environments. Characterizing the spatial and temporal patterns of noise and whales is of particular interest to managers and researchers looking to improve their knowledge of human impacts to the acoustic environments. Thank you to ARCS for making this happen.